not a world of men. I want you to be a man. You could just be a man in this one moment. I gotta be a man. Be a man. It's be a man time. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Am I supposed to be a man? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You can act like a man. Be a man. Back in the good old days, when it was just like three channels to watch, I know they always had the big game shows, right? Growing uh, up, yeah. game shows were big when we were a kid, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean that's all it was. Yeah, but remember Password was the one my parents Oh, loved. with Alan Ludden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's married to Betty White. <laughs> Do you look really? at the candid camera? Yeah. No, that who was, was that? That Alan wasn't was, Monty Hall. No, who the was, fuck was candid camera guy? That was another guy. That was Alan, maybe Alan Lund or something. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Lund. Alan Funt. Is that was Alan Funt, Funt yeah, was yeah. Candid Camera. That was a good fucking show. Yeah, that was ahead a, of its time. I was just trying to say, way ahead of its time. Yeah, they were like, you ever see that? That was before your time. Yeah, I remember they did like a newer version, a of reboot, the, a reboot, like in the yeah, 90s. that was the like reboot. The, still have it. Yeah, yeah, no, that was that was the first one that was calling people out. But Alan Ludden, he was a he was bespectacled guy, handsome, <laughs> prick, right? He was the password guy. I thought he was fucking cool. Turns out he died fucking nine hundred years ago. Betty White had lived outlived him by sixty five. Fucking years, <laughs> poor prick. So, what was the uh, what was the actual game of password? Well, it'd be a word like say mafia, right? Oh, no. And then you have some, you give your your partner a clue, be like uh, soprano, right? Stuff, right? And, and then, you know, yeah, and uh, uh, you try to get the word, yeah. And the voice would go, the password. Is yeah, just say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For you viewers at home, the password is. Yeah. <laughs> and my, my parents had the board game, and they used to play with other yeah. other couples. Yeah, that we was, to play it. Yeah, that was like one of the things with all the uh, game shows that they had the uh, the home version. And I was always was, disappointed in the home yeah, version. Yeah, the home version. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Sucked. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the, yeah. the ten thousand dollar pyramid. Right. Remember fucking Gene Rayburn in the yeah, match he, game. He was on a lot of he different was the balls. ones. He actually died in Gloucester. I don't know if he was living with his, his yeah, daughter I think he was or a something. Massachusetts guy. Yeah, but he ended up dying in Gloucester. I think it was like from Rainham Mass. Yeah. I don't know. Isn't it yeah. funny? Game show guys have that fucking game show look mm. and name. Yeah, <laughs> look and name. Yeah. How about I'm, Chuck Woolery? Oh, she's a fucking stud. I heard he was banging half the broads on that fucking I'm show. I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was. He Handsome was fucking brick. smooth. He yeah. wanted to see this. The, all these guys wanted to be actors, you know. And they go, listen, you know, you want to scuffle or you want to be a fucking game show host with a steady paycheck? Boom, yeah. you're 20 oh, years into it. Yeah, you're a game talk show host. host like, right, like right. Johnny Carson. Yeah. I saw, yeah. I saw some movie. He was like in the army or something. Black yeah. and white movie before. But yeah. Chuck Woolery, I knew a woman from California, great Georgia. Her name was Georgia Durante. She dated Chuck Woolery for 15 years. Oh, really? Really. And I was going, you dated Chuck Woolery? For oh my 15 God. 15 years? She fucking dated, yeah, yeah. Wow. So Chuck. was she just like a resident slice on the side that was getting the piece of the fucking Woolery? Yeah. I said, you, wait a minute, I go, Chuck Woolery's your boyfriend? Yeah. Woolery what? Mammoth. <laughs> Ever seen him on that show? He was fucking oh, yeah. smooth and was, then he, he was. was. On, then he was on another show after that. Like, yeah. to, like it ended what ten years ago? He made like a comeback, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing like a fading game show. Yeah, it's all fucking <laughs> face. Oh, yeah. Face was all fucking silly putty. Yeah. But you, but you have the guys that kind of fucking got like their second wind, like Mark Summers from Double Dare. Like he got his second win with the odds uh, with unwrapped on fucking the Food Network. It's oh, like yeah. a huge yeah. well, fucking family show. feud. Is he? He's a frustrated actor, isn't he? Steve Harvey, comedian. Oh, he's a comedian. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a piece of shit. I fucking hate him, and I hope he fucking. You, you I hope Mr. something Monday horrible. Hate him. Yeah, I hope something horrible happens to him. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I, 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 I think he's good. I don't watch game shows. Yeah, yeah but I, he's but he's no fucking Richard Dawson. Richard, Richard Dawson, Dawson oh, was right. the best. Richard right, Dawson so. would go over and he would kiss the fucking yeah. mother of the family on the mouth. Oh, you know what I love about him? You know his breath stunk of booze and cigarettes. Uh, oh, he yeah. didn't give a fuck. He didn't Whiny give a bastard, shit. Bastard, heavy drinking prick. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was a big. Speaking of Richard Dawson, started a big fight at my house because we were watching the game show, <laughs> and my mother said he was. Handsome. My father's like, he's, oh. a fucking, he's a fucking salami. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fucking, fucking raging bull. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Joey oh, Giridelli. What's his name? Giridelli? Joey G, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. He's a good looking guy. They go, what? Wait a minute. What did you say? Yeah. He's a good looking guy. We don't want to fuck him. Then a, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Then I'm a, just saying he's a good after, looking guy. After he kicked his ass, he, he ain't pretty no more. Oh. Someone said he ain't pretty no more. Your old man did that move? Oh, my God. Yeah, he was fucking. He would have flipped out over Wink Martindale. Greatest <laughs> fucking game show name in all time. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Price was Right was a great game when I was a kid. 
Yeah, Bob uh, Bill Monica. Cullen was the host when oh. I when I tuned in. It's like the uh, it's the ultimate game show, yeah. in my opinion. It really is classic. Been around forever. I like. I will tell you, I'm I'm probably like a Family Feud or a um, Wheel of Fortune guy. Yeah, yeah. I like Family Feud a little bit. Yeah, I but mean, I bowed out. But, but you know, because like the, my parents and now with my mother and stuff, I'm over there. We, we watch it. I know, Jeopardy's fucking hard, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't Japanese, watch it. yeah that's, a, that's a whole fucking culture. But all of, of a sudden, people. if they have one on sports, I know them all. Yeah, yeah. you know, and then I see these broads. So it's like, how do you how do you know them? You're that fucking smart. It must it's fucking amazing. Cheat sheet or something's yeah, going on. It's amazing. The best thing is when I used to visit my mother because all the people watch game shows. Oh yeah, but she would she was it's just something to watch, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. So if somebody did something good and got the right answer, she never commented favorably about them. But if they said the wrong game, she goes, stupid asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You're not an idiot. If they got a right job, T- oh, never. Tony Soprano's mom. <laughs> 100% <laughs> goes, what an asshole. <laughs> 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 that was so funny. She goes, that's something to watch. Well, you see, what's his name? Strahan's doing like the, what's it, the $100,000 pyramid show now? Yeah, I guess the money's fucking great. They do it, you and know? So they, they, they're going up to 100000 I thought so. The, man, the, who, the Dick Clark was the original host yeah. of that, right? Oh yeah! What a great fucking theme song. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, an, he's another stud. He was a stud back then too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All those guys, like I say, are all handsome yeah. bastards. Bob Barker, Bob he just Barker's croaked. Smooth. He was. Uh, wasn't he? Didn't he get sexual harassment on the, the girls yeah. right there? Yeah, yeah. I love that. You <laughs> as an old prick. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking. He must pervert. have banged them all. I'm too. sure. I'm sure he was banging. Yeah, I mean, wasn't he kissing them on the mouth, fucking like on the show? Yeah, like like back in the fucking early days. He was a groper. Oh yeah, backstage. definitely. You <laughs> oh, could tell that sure. he had happy. Hands. But you know something? Back then, groping wasn't what it is today. It was allowed. <laughs> but thirty years later, they go, wait a minute. I think Bob Barker groped me in the fucking green room. I'm bringing charges. Yeah, out. right. Yeah. They're trying to cash in. <laughs> I was groped thirty years ago by Bob Barker. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Yeah. The best was how f- was all the fucking crazy people that would be there on the fucking show. I've seen documentaries about people that go and they wait in that fucking oh. line to get on the show. Yeah, they're all and nuts. it's literally like days. They, they scream all, like lunatics. Yeah, they scream like and get, fucking nuts. And yeah. they've been the, like the reason why they're so crazy is because they've been up for fucking seventy two hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they wanted you know, see the, those people. Is that can- that's the one? Yeah, it's fucking Drew Carey, which he can fucking take a piss. Bob Barker had swagger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking, Suave. Plus, he knocked out the guy in the Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. Which was fucking classic yeah. move. <laughs> I go, this guy knows how to shape up for an old prick. No, she he was old then. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, he lived to be 90-something, right? Yeah, he went another 20 years after that oh, fucking yeah. KO. <laughs> yeah. But for me, that was that was the ultimate show. That like that was the show. The only time you got to watch it was when you were home sick from school, right? Because it was on at fucking eleven thirty. No yeah. on demand back then. Yeah, oh, yeah. Who watches these shows? Shut-ins. <laughs> <laughs> Old people's shut-ins. I mean, fucking shut-ins. Shut-ins is such a good fucking phrase. <laughs> What's that yeah. about him? He's a shut-in. <laughs> <laughs> really? What do you mean? He stays in. He's a shut-in. Isn't that a weird thing? <laughs> fucking be known as a shut-in. So February and March, fucking uh, January and February, I wouldn't mind being a shut-in. <laughs> Oh, yeah. the world like, you do fantasize about being a shuttle. I go, I like to go up to some cabin and s- literally not leave it for fucking two months. Yeah. I, I literally, I have so many fucking like supplies and just things to do. Like I'm storing up. I'm like doomsday <laughs> prepping for boredom. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm just ready to go that if fucking I am a shut in, I have all kinds of there's fucking all, activities always something and things to do. To especially do. Especially with the. With everything online now and everything, yeah. you can always find something. There's always something to do if you if you if you're shut in. Highly you entertaining know? being a shut in nowadays, as opposed to the old days. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause Just thinking, the old days they had nothing. Yeah. Then if you were shut in, they had the radio. Then yeah. the TV. Now w- you got fucking everything. WBZ. If you ha- if you have a blackout, you're in trouble. You're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you need the transistor with the batteries. Yeah. The good old days. Do you have that with the crank in case? I do. <laughs> I do. I got that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a it's a flashlight. It's a flashlight too. Yeah, yeah. It's all things in one thing, yeah. right? What about the uh, what was it? Quiz show was the uh, the movie? With oh, that was a good Ralph movie. Ralph Finance, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, Ray Fines. Even Ray though it's Fine, like, like Ralph. Yeah. How come he's not Ralph? Yeah. But that was, that was a good movie. True story. That too, was great. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was a big deal back then. Yes, because game shows are like the 
the tits, right? Life was primitive. Yeah. There wasn't much uh, <laughs> many options, right? You get a hard on over a fucking game yeah, show. Yeah, was like fucking, yeah, was what was that the pyramid? No. What, 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 Sixty four thousand dollar question. Yeah, something like that. Didn't they bring that back? Yeah. Afterwards? Like, yeah. Recently. You know, I, I bought out of game shows probably in fucking seventies. I liked uh Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. Yeah, that was the, like that in the two thousands when that came out. That was like there was like fucking game show fever again because there was so many years where like there there wasn't like many like prime time game shows right. like where it was kind of like a dead thing and then <laughs> that came out Deal and No Deal. Regis Philbin's the balls, by the way. I love, oh, I he's love, great. I love Regis Philbin. Love Philbin. Philbin. Yeah. yeah, he's half Italian. Is he? Yeah, oh, he's he's half Italian. Yeah, he is. Really. I like him better now. He's another guy that started out as like a, uh, he was an actor and a singer. All of them, yeah. Then he went to be a game That's show host. That's what I, every, every game show guy was an actor or a comedian. Yep, yeah, fucking yeah. Howie Mandel, fucking Deal or right. No Deal. Yeah. Right. You know, if they had their way, they'd be in movies or a TV series. Yeah. They don't really want to be in the game show, but once you're into it and they start giving you that kind of money, you say, oh, I guess I'm a game yeah, show host now. so much fucking, they right? make so much money now. Say, fuck it. But can you imagine, they'll do several shows in one day. Oh yeah, another yeah. couple of days off, but you say, "Oh fuck, I got to go there tomorrow." Referee three fucking games in a row <laughs> with these assholes, <laughs> right? And pretend, oh, hey, uh, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> deal and No Deal was great because it was like that show that was catered towards the sad sack of shit fucking <laughs> husband that just wanted to see fucking broads, and that's that was basically the show. Yeah, he guessed yeah. the fucking suitcase, and they had the broads with the fucking tits come out <laughs> and fucking right. open the thing. Like that's the only reason why people watched it. How about the old old game shows in black and white? They have to dance and pack a fucking cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember. To tell the truth, yeah, Is that, that was the one we're talking. About? That was fucking primitive. Yeah, <laughs> talking about black and white. Yeah, right? yeah. I could still picture it. They go, <laughs> "I'm be a man." Next guy goes, "I'm be a man." No, I'm be a man. Yeah. <laughs> Will the real be a man stand up? <laughs> and they do that fake. Ever see it? Oh, yeah. The first guy would go, oh. second guy fake dig dig, and then the guy fucking stands up. And go, oh wow, <laughs> it's number two. Is real be a man? <laughs> the uh, the one with Chuck Woolery, the dating game. That yeah. was that love connection. Love connection. Um, the kid up the street, fucking, he was on that. No ago. shit. Did yeah. he get forked? <laughs> yeah, he actually ended up banging the broad. Oh, he piped the broad on yeah, the fucking love connection? Funny because he piped the contestant? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but, it, but it, you know, he ended up winning, you know, ends up with a broad, but he was uh, he wanted to be an actor, so he ended up on that, right? Right. You know, it never panned out. So it was like something came up and he said to Chuck Wolliver, yeah, well, I don't want sloppy seconds, but it didn't sound like perverted, even though. So oh. it went right over their head and made it on TV. Yeah, that, that, yeah, the internet's full of those little things, like in the butt, Bob from the Newlywed Game, the most <laughs> famous line ever from mm. a game show. Where is the strangest place you ever made whoopee? <laughs> in the butt, Bob. <laughs> Have you heard that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. all they say. Yeah. It's the all-time fucking answer. Well, that that <laughs> show is was great because uh, like. Some people play the home version of that game, like couples night, right. like game night. Yeah. Let's play the newlywed game. That's the worst fucking game ever to play. It sucks. It's fucking, you can yeah. bury yourself so fucking quickly uh, with that. Yeah, the dating you, game too, right? They, the get so, so, they get so pissed yeah. when fucking you don't guess like the right thing. Right. Like, what's our favorite fucking color? And you guess it wrong. They get nah. bullshit at you. Fuck that. That's a shit game. Yeah, we don't, we don't care. A, a game that fucking results in you beefing with a broad all right. night? Yeah, yeah, Fucking yeah, stuff terrible. your ass. I used to watch the dating game back in his heyday. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. old one with Jim Lang. <laughs> and it's funny, you'd see like the whatever, the, the three guys, one to a, to her a stud, one's a fucking dweeb. The broad picks the wrong fucking guy. She sees all the ones she passed by walk out. Then the guy she picked walks out. You're like, what the fuck did I get here? <laughs> Some fucking midget with a fire. Yeah. <laughs> I like when you, when you see a contestant that you kind of like or you hate. Yeah. I hope he loses, you know, fucking like, like it's a sport. I yeah, really that's re- that's that's like the immediate assessment when you start watching a game show. You're like, I like this person. I don't like this person. If the, I, I'm now rooting for this person who's like fucking Doug, that's a telemarketer from fucking Tallahassee. You have no fucking connection to him, yeah. but you hate the other person that right. you don't know so much <laughs> that you fucking want them to win. It's a strange phenomenon. You got to <laughs> pick somebody. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I watch like uh, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, my mother and Jeopardy. Yeah, I mean, I don't really watch anything. 
There's still a lot on, right? Still a lot of games on. Yeah, games uh, on? but I mean, those are the those that that's like a staple. That like there's a whole demographic of people every night at seven o'clock. It's Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy mm. back to back. Yeah. Five days. Then they I'm go ma- to bed because of shut-ins. Imagine watching the same show five days a fucking week. God. Wheel of Fortune just every day. Me. It's one Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just, you know, because you could sit there and guess it before the idiots are the actual <laughs> contestants. You know? well, I mean, that was a brilliant show because they're like, let's take one of the fucking hottest broads in the fucking world right now and have a parade fucking around with her fucking cans dumped out. Right. And fucking flipping letters. Now, now she's 65. Is she's she 65 old? and she's she a look? fucking multimillionaire. Still looks pretty good. You think- he, he's retiring after the next year or something, right? I, I didn't I think know fucking he was still he's going. He's retiring. Sajak? Yeah. Oh, it's Sajak. Sajak. They what tried to cancel him. Name. They tried to cancel yeah, him. Yeah, was he? A, he what, a, a he's another one that was like, a, well, he's a Republican. Oh, no, I see. Yeah. No. Well, I like him for that. Yeah, uh, but he was like a real handsome bastard when he was younger. Career right? game show, man. Yeah. 30 year man. Yeah. Easy, Jesus right? Jesus Christ. Sajak. What a great fucking name. <laughs> Sajak. It sounds, sounds like tough. a car dealer, too. I'd like to be Jack Sajak. Jack Sajak. <laughs> he fucking doesn't put up with shit. Yeah, don't fuck with Jack Sajak. Don't say Jack to Sajak. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, but those game show chicks, they all get pumped by the host. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> every one if of they them. don't, we hope they do. Well, if they you don't, they get fired and they get replaced. I mean, that has to be the <laughs> reason why they're, they're, they're involved in the show in the first place. It's still like, go it's like, on. That stuff don't go on nowadays as much, probably. I think it's toned it's down. Sexual harassment. They yeah. fucking put the kibosh and all that behavior. Dean yeah. Martin should have been a game show host. Oh, right. I know. He's, That's right. He could have been smooth. He's, yeah. He's I'm fucking, so glad he didn't. Sandy yeah. he wrapped up his career with that. You'd go, Dean, yeah. I fucking love you. But then you hosted a fucking game D- show for Dean five. or Frank. Dean. Yeah, me too. I mean, overall? Yeah. I think Frank's the better singer. Pure yeah. singer. But the I whole package. Him. I got to say, I love them both. I do too, yeah. But I love, I, I think I'll probably go with 55, ah, Dean. 55-45, Dean. Oh, me, right? fucking wow. handsome prick. Yeah. <laughs> I love Frank, though, too. The yeah, chairman yeah, of the board, yeah, oh, bossy yeah, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mafia connections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure singing, you know, for for, for a heaviness. Of, of a, you know, Dean was lighter, breezier. Yeah. But Frank was fucking the balls. He was an actor. It's just yeah. his, his stage presence was yeah, yeah. unbelievable. No yeah. rehearsal. Yeah. You see his, his shows, those fucking variety shows, he walked down the oh. fucking steps. Didn't give a fuck. Okay. Drunk, Step smoking a cigarette. Then, it was like game shows and variety shows yeah. back yeah. then, right? Yeah. I loved the good variety show back in the day. The Christmas so shows good and stuff. Ones. I mean, I'd rather watch that than the shit that's on now. I mean, now now I just watch like sports and news, yeah. like a, a movie yeah. documentary. Why don't they bring back variety shows? Those were fucking great. Get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. No? Yeah. I, I, guess, I mean, I, I guess, like, still a variety show would be considered, like, late night talk. I guess. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, if, if it would make money, they would be doing it. So, obviously, people don't want it anymore. I mean, like yeah. I said, I got Sullivan. Okay, we got a comedian. All yeah. right, he's gone. Here Get comes the, the fucking Beatles. The Beatles. Boom, they're great. They're Elvis. gone. Yeah. Here comes a fucking uh, guy with a puppet. Yeah. Here comes a fucking yeah. pet expert. Here comes yeah. a fucking trapeze guy. So whatever the yeah. fuck they do, just yeah. find each other. <laughs> we'll lend us. Yeah. You go like this. Oh, yeah, I'm entertained. I get a little of this, a little yeah, of that. Yeah, breaks no. it up. What's wrong with breaks that? It up. Yeah, Why don't we I, start a fucking variety we show? We could. We should turn this into a variety show. We'll do the podcast. <laughs> we have some broads come in and dance. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just turn minutes. it into a fucking then, circus. Yeah. A fucking variety show. <laughs> a fucking floor show. Yeah, those are great. You would think, right, it would fit in today's times where people have ADD and they only want three, four-minute segments. Yeah. I feel it makes total yeah, sense I to know. have a variety show. How about Hee Haw? Hee Haw. I like Hee Haw. Yeah, Hee Haw was good. Now, well, what the fuck was Hee Haw? That, that was, was like a country, country, country variety show. Yeah, they wore, like, fucking overalls and shit. <laughs> Mini Pearl, and they were all fucking rednecks and country guys singing. And <laughs> it was basically like the Ed Sullivan show. They had like. some real fucking country legends on Oh, there. yeah. Yeah. They all went to. Oh, yeah. No, it was great. I liked Hee Haw. Yeah. <laughs> the Daisy Dukes, those cut-off jean yep. shorts. Oh, the- yeah. hmm That was a solid look on that show. Be a man. Experience. So we were talking about uh, the twenty thousand dollar pyramid. Uh, th- let's play around. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The Eiffel Tower. Paris. <laughs> the the um, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> the, 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 the South Dakota <laughs> presidents. <laughs> um, the, uh, next, we'll go to the next one. Uh, violin. Stradivarius. Guita- guitar. 
uh, d- drums. Jimi Hendrix. Drums. Horns. Music. Bands. Uh, Rock and roll. Uh, uh, clarinet. Saxophone. Uh, Jazz. Pi- piano. <laughs> Lionel Hampton. <laughs> okay, we're going now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of all the, uh, out of all the gym joints in the Casablanca, <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> close, close. I can't <laughs> say that. Uh, how about toothbrush? We'll go to another one. Toothbrush, uh, teeth. Change of clothes. Can I use more than one word? Right. Yeah. Okay. Change of clothes. Toothbrush. Uh, Traveling. De- deodorant. Um, Travel. Suitcase. Uh, vacation. Okay. I didn't pack for vacation. We'll give him that. Um, <laughs> time. <laughs> okay, yeah, not that good. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, John, now it's your turn to feed. Right. Cupcakes. Vagina. <laughs> Cookies. Sweets. Ice cream. Desserts. Did very good. The Italy. Greece. Countries. Germany. European countries. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, uh, Gone with the Wind. Um, uh, de- de- Famous movies. To Kill a Mockingbird. Famous movies. Um, uh, uh, In Cold Blood. Uh, Award-winning movies. S- Stephen King. Scary movies. Um, horror, uh, horror movies. Uh, bus. Train. This is the same one? Airplane. Airplane. Okay. Um, Cars. Uh, transportation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the tube. The petri dish. <laughs> uh, uh, magnifying glass. Did you find a lab? Oh! Wow, PM man. I'm fucking impressed. <laughs> da Vinci. Uh, Michelangelo. Great artist. <laughs> <It's> unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Helmet. Hockey stick. Baseball hockey, hockey equipment. <laughs> Sports equipment. <laughs> Time. See, my clues, wow. my clues weren't that good. That was a great round. So, be a man. You got six of them out of. It was six out of eight. Wow. Oh, wow. That was a that was a great fucking round. Well, he, he gives great, great great clues though. All right, uh, you ready to start the next round, okay, be a man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your time starts now. Thomas said, "Inventors got it. Um, lions, tigers, um, the Wizard of Oz." Uh, beers. Zoo. Animals. Yes. Uh, freaks. Circus. Uh, <laughs> that's, Fre- that's close enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Maui. Hawaii. Las Vegas. Um, oh, uh, West Coast. Um, uh, Hawaiian Islands. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the next one. Uh, cold. Hot. Rain. Sleet. Seasons. Sleet. Temperature. Sleet. Snow. Northeast. Cla- winter. Cloudy. Rather, weather. Yep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Monopoly. Um, A game. Yep. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> A hammer. Nails. Tools. Yes. Uh, the uh, disco. The mamba. Dancing. Yes. Uh, um, again, we'll go. Time. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was a good one, though. That was pretty good. That, was, that was good. That was six. Yeah. Wow. That was six um, out of I'm nine. Famous quotes from literature. It's like, um, it did too long to say. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. if I got all three of them, it'd oh, take yeah, 60 seconds. All right, Johnny, you ready for your round? Yes. Spaghetti. Falafel. <laughs> Italian food. Chinese. Different genres of food. Yes. Uh, Martin Scorsese. Francis Ford Coppola. Great directors. Uh, magnifying glass. Fingerprint kit. Um, uh, tape measure. Forensic. Forensic things for forensic. Uh, yeah, we'll give them that. Uh, telephone. Uh, telegraph. Ways to communicate. <laughs> oh. Maple. Pine. Types of trees. Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Mussolini. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, Great leaders from the uh, past. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, cereal. Ah. Uh, cold cuts. Uh, Types uh, of food. Pr- produce. Uh, 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 aisle four. Did uh, you find a grocery uh, store? Yeah. Uh, 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 football. Uh, baseball. Different sports. Uh, 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 cumulus. Nimbus. Different sky. Wow. Different clouds. Uh, uh, sci-fi. Horror. Time. Uh, mystery. Uh, <laughs> different types of movies. Uh, wow. Wow. Almost all of them. Wow. You got through nine of them. He gives great clues, though. Wow. Yeah. That, so that's that's what the pros are doing. They're doing they're doing ten really? questions in the uh, in the round. That's a pro fucking round. Wow, that was a hell of a well, round. Of his que- I mean, I couldn't give the clues he was given on some of these. I mean, I was like, a, go to the next one. 
Wow, that's yeah. a fun game, huh? Yeah. I like this. We play every week. <laughs> it's kind of like a version of Password a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a little yeah. Bit very like similar, a, similar game. Similar, right? Yeah. Hotline. Be a man hotline. Yes, 24-7. Leave a voicemail or send us a text. Hotline. Call anytime. 617-329-9505. Call 24-7 with your sick fucking stories. We love it. We have a Be A Man hotline from your boy, Dallas. This is a great story about a guy's uh, father going through a KFC drive through <laughs> It's fucking hilarious. My dad had a Be A Man moment a long time ago. We went to a KFC drive through after work. I worked with him after school when I was in fifth grade. I was little Be A Man. He went to order for the family. No response. He was talking loud. He heard the guy talking, but couldn't hear too good. He started yelling still. <laughs> Nothing, I said. Hey, Dad. He interrupted me. Shut up. <laughs> Sit back, so I did. He yelled one more time, <laughs> drove off furiously. He parked right in the drive through lane by the door. Said, get out. You need to learn how to deal with these kind of people. <laughs> I was all scared. We all got out. We went in, and he yelled, you fucking guys can't take my order. The guy behind the counter got his supervisor. <laughs> Dad was yelling. Get TF back here. The kid was talking to his super. The supervisor came up, said, Calm down, sir. My dad got even madder. The supervisor took a step aside and said, Is this you in the red pickup? My dad said, So you seen me and didn't. The guy interrupted, Sir. He was talking to a garbage can. He humbled my dad. That's what I was trying to tell him. My dad apologized, ordered when we got our chicken insides. The man got my dad worked up, said next time look for an order sign, it was out there and where you were yelling clearly said trash. <laughs> and asked if I had brothers and sisters wanted to see if I wanted cookies. <laughs> my dad blew up, don't try to give my kids some damn cookies. <laughs> it's big enough, I'll mile be a man's status. <laughs> wow. Never apologize, be a man. That's right. So the guy fucking goes to order a fucking 12 piece with fucking mashed potatoes and biscuits, and he's talking into the fucking trash can the whole time. <laughs> you know, something I think we've all kind of yeah. done a little version of that. I, I know that. I have. Yeah, with the, you know, the, the posts they have that guards you from smashing into oh, the yeah, side. Yeah. I was talking to one of those one time. It's like a red post. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, because sometimes yeah. you don't really know. Is it here or is it the next fucking thing I see? Yeah. Yeah. Is right? this what I talk into? But I like the way the guy yeah. wouldn't, you know, he just fucking fuck this. He was in. Oh, Kentucky <laughs> Fried <laughs> Chicken. I'm starving now. <laughs> that guy was going to be a prick right to the end. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm right or wrong. I'm yeah. right. God yeah, damn it. Good. Right? Good. Wow. The supervisor. Never admit you're wrong, being man. <laughs> Here comes the super and the supervisor. He liked to say that, yeah, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> I like, uh, I, I had the pleasure of going to Waffle House a couple weeks ago down in Georgia. Oh, it's nice? Oh, yeah, I love Waffle House. <laughs> it's you get fantastic. a full stack or whatever the fuck they give you. Too bad that wasn't a fucking rumble. You, you've, yeah, I know. You could have filmed it. You've been there before, right? Not well, that one. Another one. The, and, uh, well, no, they're everywhere. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah there's hundreds of them. Yeah, yeah no, they're good. Great. Tonto's been, been, obviously. Yeah. 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 I love the Waffle House. Yeah, I know. You can't beat a nice Fuck. fucking waffle. Fucking eggs are always nice and fluffy. Waffle or pancakes? Uh, pancakes by here. I would say so, too. They're yeah. more universal. Waffle's more of a rarity. Yeah. Where if pancake's I, more omnipresent. Yeah, exactly. When you agree? Yeah. yeah the, um, if I get my waffles, I like them well done. Yeah. You know what I fucking hate when you go to a hotel, you got to make your own waffle on that machine? Yeah, yeah what I fuck? want one. Well, I you want to you turn it upside down. Yeah, you, you just wait too much. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, I want somebody to make it for me. I don't. Yeah, I don't. It's like, but it's like the self checkout lane in the fucking in the grocery store. It's like this is not my fucking job. But, you make my fucking waffle. I'm I'm paying. Well, fucking a lot of those right breakfasts now. are kind of like um, self serve. Yeah, you know. But I like doing the, the waffle myself because I like them crispy. Right. So I can keep it on there oh, longer. Oh, you fucking hold that yeah. clamp down a little yeah. longer. <laughs> I like the way you flip the pan back and forth. Yeah. Right? <laughs> what the, the pan, fuck is yeah, that all about? You, well, you flip the pan, it starts cooking. Right. And when it's done, you flip it over and open it up. <laughs> Do me a favor. Throw two fucking eggos on the toaster. I'm good. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I, mean, those I are don't good. need to yeah. be fucking cooking. When I sneak into the uh, the Hampton Inn up there and eat breakfast for free, yeah. <laughs> they have one. I usually don't use it. I'll have mm -hmm. the oatmeal with raisins and almonds. Then I'll mm -hmm. go through their sucky fucking those tin things with the uh, sausages and the yeah, scrambled yeah, eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a cup of coffee and I leave. You got a slop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, leave him a dollar tip do, on the do table. Do you sneak around hotel? Yes, no, absolutely. I, I, absolutely. I don't, absolutely. I don't even give him a dollar. I tip. was in, uh, I was in Georgia, and the the breakfast wasn't included. 
and it was off hours, so I went back <laughs> behind the counter. I stole all kinds of shit. Nice, nice. And then I looked up. I was on camera. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. They don't give a fuck yeah. anymore. Did yeah. you steal miniature boxes of cereal? Everything. I love those. Everything. <laughs> I love the I had, look of them. It was pouring out, so I had my coat on. I was throwing uh, like things of nuts, like uh, pecans and fucking <laughs> all, all kinds of shit. I must have stole sixty dollars worth of shit, seventy dollars worth. Of I was gonna shit. ask you how much you think the value was. That's yeah. a good amount. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And the good thing was she she laughed about it. Good. She liked it. Did she yeah. eat it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah fuck we it. had the nuts you know, later. I think that these hotels they fucking half expect this behavior at this point. Oh yeah, they're right? used to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, and then yeah. I, then I went in later on. I went into the uh, they have a little gift shop. You know how they have that like little big closet with yeah, the shit yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> I stole a bunch of shit out of there. The girl was right at the desk, <laughs> and uh, I look up again. There's a camera on me. It's like you know, fuck. I'll say I thought it was part of the yeah. Bunk, you, you know, know what to do was a cover. Say you steal it. You look up and see the camera. You go put this on my bill. I know <laughs> 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 I'm not stealing. I'm yeah, dump it on my bill. Yeah. And you're covered. If yeah. they come after you, say, I said put it on my bill. I this, told you. <laughs> this hotel had the little little bars of soap this big. But you steal some? Dove bar. Oh. It's an actual dove bar, mini version. High class. Yeah, it's like, you know, one-tenth scale or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. So Ooh. I stole a bunch of those. Nice. Those you, know what that, you know what would be a good idea <laughs> if there was some sort they made something like that that was like a depth charge that you put in your ass to clean it? <laughs> like when you're taking a shower, you stick it in there, and you just kind of clench your cheeks, and it naturally dissolves oh, with fucking yeah. like clean stuff. I right. think you should have a portable bidet you can strap onto, so you're taking a shower, you can shit in the fucking showers. <laughs> Waffle stomp it and fucking clean out your ass. <laughs> Do it all at once. You know what I propose? It, I propose that fucking in the hospitals, they put bidets on the bedpans. Nice so when idea. You're, so when you're sitting there and you have to take a shit in bed, oh. at least you're getting a nice, caring, nurturing but, fucking... But the bedpan would have to be... Yeah, hot, it, you know? Or they would, have to, they would have to be some sort of uh, maybe... Like a drainage system or yeah. something. <laughs> I mean, it would be offsetting the indignity and humiliation of sitting in a fucking metal bedpan. Yeah. So at least if you can wrap it up with a nice wrench, you go, well, you know, they yeah, made it half nice for you. Now, yeah, I'm yeah. now I'm clean. Right? Yeah, clean you out. And some fucking nurse got to wipe your asshole. Do you, uh, would you ever want that? Oh, I mean, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. <laughs> As the nurse was rubbing <laughs> your, cleaning your dirty asshole, right, so would you still flirt with her? All right, so just uh, <laughs> seven years ago, almost to the day, my father passed away, right? And his, um, his brain was going a little bit, so we had to have people come in and help him before we went into the nursing home. So had this really pretty girl from uh, maybe Jamaica came over, and uh, we're like, yeah, she's got to give you a shower. He's like, ah, oh, you know. he's like, all, oh, I ain't going that. Then he's like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 she's gonna, she's gonna take a shower with me. He thought she was gonna get, <laughs> you know, she was. It's gonna start washing me, you know. One thing's gonna lead to another, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, told, you know, because his brain was going. You right. didn't know, but it, yeah, we that's still a good about angle. That. The yeah. old brain is going. You can say anything. <laughs> yeah. What did I did you say? Blow me. Yeah. <laughs> get around. <laughs> it was like, uh, God, he still felt, still love bro. Did he ever get in the shower with the bro? Well, no, no, she, no, she gave no, him a shower. Did yeah, she do it for him? He, yeah, but he got used to it after a while. <laughs> I bet. You know, who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. Experience. Don't watch game shows anymore, but the one I like to watch the most is probably Family Feud. I love game shows in the, in the sense that they remind me of my mother and grandmother from when I was a Ute. There's nothing like watching game show reruns from 40 years ago. <laughs> I'm with you. Game shows, like, every time I watch them, even if it's a new version, it just b kind of brings you back to your childhood. Sick days. You know, seeing the same guys, seeing Bob Barker, Pat Sajak, and all those yeah. guys, and fucking, it was always great. I hope you enjoyed the... Be a man. Experience!